I love a sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewel sea, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. That was a popular stanza exerted from My Country, one of the best-known works of poetry in Australia, by Dorothy McKellar, which perfectly captures the natural beauty and the heart and spirit of Australia. Awe-inspiring, surreal, breathtaking, these are words that are used to describe the Australian land and its coastline. The Great Barrier Reef, located in the Coral Sea off the northeast coastline, is the largest natural feature on Earth, stretching more than 2,300 kilometres. The Australian outback with its spectacular scenery and primal mythology has long been revered as one of the most beautiful places on earth. Heading further inland to Australia's red centre, Ayers Rock or Uluru, a giant sandstone monolith is a spectacular sight which changes colour according to the position of the sun. The massive rock domes date back 500 million years and are rich in indigenous artwork and lore. Have you ever heard a kookaburra laugh? This is just one of the fascinating animals unique to Australia. And then there is the kangaroo, perhaps the most famous Australian animal. This loving marsupial adorns the Australian coat of arms because it never takes a backward step, always moves forward. And if you ever visit Australia, don't miss the opportunity to snuggle up with a cuddly koala. It will take you straight to heaven. Australians have a warm, light-hearted and generous nature. Anywhere you go, you will be greeted with a friendly, G'day, mate. It's comforting to know that you have 20 million friends who will always be there if needed. When the bushfires broke out and continued to burn for 49 days in Victoria, Australia in late 2006 and early 2007, Supreme Master Ching Hai expressed her concerns and sent help to the victims. Our association members in Sydney and Melbourne quickly contributed financially to the Country Fire Authority and local fire station to help out with the firefighting efforts. To this day, our association members continue to be active members in the community and help out with the promotion of a healthy lifestyle through the vegetarian diet at different events throughout the year. And now please join us on Words of Wisdom today for an insightful lecture entitled It Is You Who Bless Yourself, delivered by Supreme Master Ching Hai in Brisbane, Australia on March 21st, 1993. Some nations or religions find suicide heroic. Some find it fatal for the spiritual survival. What are the spiritual consequences of suicide? Suicide mostly done in a very depressing state of understanding. Therefore, it's no good. It is a kind of escape from reality and from obstacles and a kind of impatient, short-tempered solution. If we wait a few more days or maybe a few more weeks or months or years, things become different. Suicide is a very terrible crime because we take away the rights of God which uh, will take us when the time is right. At least at that moment, we have no God in our mind. We have no faith, no aim in life. That's why we take our life. 
And because of this depressing state of mind, we will go to a very depressing level of existence. And there we remain long, 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 long until we are fed up with it, until we awaken somehow or through some merciful grace. Then we can be given a new life. But then, that doesn't mean we became intelligent. We'll be a little bit dumb and <laughs> clumsy and depressive. So I would advise, for whatever reason, please consider and live, live on and see what God decides for us the next moment. Do you regard love between two people of the same sex as sexual misconduct? How do I know? I am not in that category. All right, then have one partner at a time, only one. Okay? Sexual misconduct is in the sense of uh, an ordinary relationship between a man and a woman, that we should be faithful and devoted to each other and helping each other to realize God within both of us. And in the special case, then forgive yourself. Do not think that you are a female or a male in that case, and then have one partner. Try to strive for a higher perfection, a higher love, and a higher reunion within ourselves, which transcends all sex, all races, all creeds, and that is better for you. But at the meantime, Keep your relationship in a faithful and a regulated basis. Love means respect and cooperation, mutual supporting, in order that we know a greater love than is existing love at the present, in our misunderstanding. In that case, it is all right. We can't help the way we feel if we are unenlightened. So please get enlightenment, and then you will see there is no necessity for this so-called physical love. Even if we still have, there is a different feeling. If enlightened, do we have to experience earthly life again? It depends on you. 